In this animation you will learn acidic treatment of row plant. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, Source of Skills. Please like and subscribe for more informative videos. Fill the mixer tank with the required amount of distilled water. Run the dosing pump to add an appropriate quantity of hydrochloric acid to the mixer tank to achieve a pH of 2. Turn on the agitator to make the solution homogeneous. Monitor the pH meter. The solution pH should be around 2. Run the pump to transfer the prepared solution to the micron cartridge filter. This filter will allow fluid smaller than 5 microns while block particles larger than 5 microns. You can see this filter functions as a sieve, it allowing fluid particles smaller than 5 microns while blocking larger particles. Observe the flow meter, it displays the flow rate of passing fluid. The fluid then goes to the inlet header. It distributes the fluid to the membranes. The pressure gauge shows the pressure before the membranes. As the solution passes through the membranes, it interacts with the calcium and magnesium content present in the membranes and try to dissolve them. Each membrane has two outlets, permeate and reject. Permeate goes to the permeate header, while, reject goes to the reject header. Both headers are connected to the mixer tank. They continuously feed the solution back to the mixer tank. The flow meters show the permeate and reject flow rates respectively. The pH meter measures the pH of the permeate. The value is around 4. Note this value and compare it with the pH of the prepared solution. When the solution reacts with calcium and magnesium present in membrane, it becomes less concentrated, causing the pH to change. If the pH of the prepared solution increases, add more hydrochloric acid to the mixer tank to maintain a pH of 2. Continue this process around 45 minutes. After 45 minutes turn off the pump and leave the solution in the membranes for 30 minutes. This allows the solution to react with the calcium and magnesium content. We call this process soaking. After 30 minutes, turn on the pump again, to continue the cleaning process. When the pH of both permeates and reject reaches 2, it means the calcium and magnesium content has been removed from the membranes. That's all about the acidic treatment of row membranes. Thanks for watching this video.